Hey everybody, Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Let me show you how you can make your own decoupage paper. It's so easy. Look at this, you just take your own tissue paper right from Walmart, Dollar Tree, just plain old white tissue paper. All you need is some waterproof ink. I'm using archival ink, it's waterproof. You take your stamp of your choice. Right now I'm using IOD stamps. This is from their set called Crockery and it says orange marmalade and I'm just stamping it with the ground espresso and I'm patting it right on to the plain old white tissue paper that you get at Walmart. And then look, you have your own stamp that you created and your own decoupage paper. How cool is that? Now that's a little teeny chicken, isn't that cute? With a little chick on her uh, shoulder there doing it in the same color, ground espresso. It's archival ink, it is waterproof. You have to use waterproof. If you don't use waterproof, when you go to use the decoupage medium on there, it will smear. So now I'm just pressing it onto the tissue paper and there we go, look how cute that is. Now you can use any color ink you want. I'm just using the, the uh, ground espresso for today. See, there we go, I did that one in black and the other one I did in a spiced orange so I thought they came out really pretty so you can use any kind of colored ink you want as long as it's waterproof now I'm just taking this cute little basket I have and I'm just coating it in arctic white by pink couture you can use any white of your choice white will make the decoupage paper pop just like any decoupage paper you want to use you want to put down a light color underneath just so it brings out the features of your decoupage paper. So all you need is one light coat. Just make sure it's dry before you start putting down your decoupage paper. And now you just want to take out off the excess um, tissue paper that doesn't have the, the imprint on it because you don't need all that on your project. So I'm just taking it off. I just use a water pen. Um, the, if you could just use a paintbrush dipped in water and you can use that also. And once it has the water on it, it is very, very easy to tear. If you can see right there, it's tearing really easily. Okay, so on one side, we're gonna put the cute little chick, and the other side, we're going to use the orange marmalade so sign or stamp. <laughs> All right, so just put a one thin coat of your decoupage medium, and we're just going to put the decoupage paper down just as easy as that. Now, I like to start from the middle and then work my way to the ends and just pressing it down as I go along. Just remember, tissue paper is thin, so you do not want to really, really uh, brush hard on it or it'll tear your paper. So look at that. So the bottom is hanging down a little bit low and on the bottom right there, it says orange marmalade. So I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna put that on the other side where the chicken's gonna go. So right now I'm putting the paper down and there I'm gonna go put that little piece of orange marmalade sign that, um, was going to be excess and we don't want to waste anything. So there we go. Look how cute that is. So on there it says orange marmalade. And then I'm going to put the cute little chicken with his little baby on his back. How cute is that? All right. So all you want to do is put a coat on and then just hit it with another coat of your decoupage medium on top, just like that to seal it in. And that's all you have to do. And look, it's your own decoupage paper. You can use any stamps you want, any color you want. Now to distress it, I'm just taking the same ink, Grand Espresso, and I'm going around the sides, around the edges, and look guys, it makes it look like you just distressed the basket. How pretty does that look? And it's one, two, three. Now you can do anything you want with the basket. I'm just gonna fill mine up with a little bit of, I guess it's moss in a very pretty uh, light beige color, and I'm gonna make a little teeny bow for it using raffia. So go as much as you want with the ink and it's just really gonna give it a really pretty, pretty, pretty um, distressed look. So there we go, filling my basket up with a little bit of, I, I believe it's, I believe it's uh, Spanish moss, I'm not sure. Now I'm just making my bow out of raffia, wrapping it around my fingers a couple of times, then wrapping the raffia around the middle. It's just a simple and easy bow. And then I'm going to just fluff it out just like that. I'm gonna take my glue gun, glue it right there in the corner, and then I'm just gonna take a cute little button and glue the button into the middle of the little raffia bow I made. Simple and easy, 
just as easy as that. And look how pretty that looks and how easy that is to make your own decoupage paper. You can use any stamps of your choice, any ink of your choice, as long as it is waterproof ink. So thank you everybody for joining me today. Please come and follow me on Yesterday's Tomorrow's.